Hello, this is going to be a short note, a hopefully short note, about viewing tidal currents in OpenCPN. And um, they, the program ships with harmonics loaded. There's ways to update those, but the ones that are good. And so you turn on the currents over here, show currents, and then these arrows pop up like that. And you can uh, right click and view that. So that's a very nice display of the currents and so forth. But um, what I want to do now is, as far as I know, there is not a way looking at the screen to step through over the next hour and just watch these currents evolve as time changes. In you know, the next hour, the next hour, next hour, just watch how these change so you can maybe do some planning that way. Um, you can do it in the, when you look here at this, you can look at any one station and then look at the next hour and so forth like that, or next, uh, ne next day maybe. Uh, but I want to look at the, I want to watch how this changes over the hour. And so I hear, and, the, and again, I have to say, there may be a way to do this that I simply don't know about. But the, what I want to do here is just a trick way that you can do it. So I'm going to just shut those off for now. And what we need to do is load a grib file. So, uh, okay, so I don't have the grib. Okay, let me, okay, it'll take, a, it's not going to take long. But what I have to do is I have to turn on this grib viewer here. So you enable the gribs and, and uh, apply like that. Apply. Okay. And now do they show up? Now sometimes this happens when you first load it, they don't. So what I'm going to do is just shut the program off and turn it back on. And I'm guessing it'll show up over there uh, in, the, in the menu bar. Now if you already have Gribs going, okay, so here's what I want to do then. I've got to load. What I want to do is load a wind forecast, a wind forecast for any place in the world. In fact, I could just come down here in the South Sound and draw a little box and get the wind here. And with that, the trick will work no matter where you are, here, Cape Cod, whatever. So let's do that. So we go to the Grib files. And then you're going to say, uh, we don't have start a request. That's, this is for if you've got one already, which we're going to do in a minute. So I'm going to have to start a request. And then um, uh, for GFS is fine. Three days. I don't, yeah, well, how long ahead do I want to look at the current? Let's say I want to look at the current every six days. Uh, you request a forecast more than eight days. This is conflicting wave data. Okay, that's fine. We just want to look at the wind, and we only need to look at it every hour. That's plenty good enough. And so here then is, uh, this will then, you hit send, you hit send. Now those who, uh, okay, uh, continue, continue. Uh, so you're going to have a mail that looks like this, and then you send it. Okay, you send it. Now, I'm going to pause because I'm going to get that grib file back in a minute, and I don't want to take up that minute here. I'm going to pause and then uh, come back when I get the file. Okay, I'm back now. I got that grib file back from Sail Docs. Uh, it took about a minute, and I've put it down here on the desktop. So now I'll go back to your grib, uh, your grib, uh, view, grib app here, and now we go to Folder. And then I want to go to de this PC. Uh, uh, okay, wait a minute. This PC. This PC. Uh, okay, let me start over. Um, desktop. Okay, there it is. So I'm sorry, I'm not used to PCs. Okay, there you go. Open. And then you say open. So that open. ah, now that opened the wind for this whole area here. I really didn't need that wind on this area. I could have just gone down to San Francisco and defined a little one degree box and put it there. But anyway, there's the wind. And now, but now that I have the wind, I have a time slider that actually changes what, what wind I'm looking at. But here's the trick play. Well, I think it's trick play. You go here and you show the currents. Currents. Show the currents. Uh, 
So there's the currents. It's interesting, they're blue now. Well, it's me because I got an overlay on it. But here's the point, the whole point I wanted to make. Now that I have the currents, I can watch the time up here. I can actually go change specific times here and you notice they change. But the main idea now is you could actually turn this very slowly or do it, you know, some keystroke that makes it go step at a time. And then you can watch the currents vary. You may want to shut off. Okay, you could come in here and shut off. You could actually, if you didn't want to look at all that, you could just, uh, you could just shut off. What are we looking at? The wind. You could shut the wind off. You could go to pressure, and you could shut the isobars off. Okay, apply. Now we're back to just, just looking at. Oh, that's one isobar hanging in there, but. Um, then you can just do this and change that. Let's see, why do my isobars still showing? Display ice. Oh, it didn't go off. Okay. Apply. Okay. All right. Now you've got that where you're just showing the currents, or you can uh, you can step through it like this. All right. Oh, the wind arrows are back. All righty. Anyway, that's the whole message. Oh, wait. A Let me just just make a better point here. Okay. So I downloaded the wind here. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the other side of the world. Uh, well, it's not the world, the other side of the U.S. And uh, see, there's currents over here, too, Cape Cod and so forth. Let's just zoom in here. And now, you see, I'm over here, and I can do the same thing. I'm over here, and I'm just moving the currents. The main thing is we got some kind of time frame loaded into the system, and now we can watch the currents vary with the time. Okay, that's the end of that note. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks.